Hey there, pretty preset friends. This is Allison Wheeler. I wanted to get on tonight to make a quick little video that was requested yesterday in the Facebook by um, Margaret Cotto. I hope I'm getting your name right. Um, she was curious about exporting in Lightroom. Um, pretty presets have created this great um, exporting cheat sheet you see here on my screen. Um, it gives you great details how to export um, from Lightroom for web and Facebook. It also gives some directions for clients and printing. Um, but if you're kind of like me, you like to learn by seeing. So I made a, I'm going to make this little video tonight to show you how to do that. So let me pull up Lightroom real quick. All right, so this is just a session I have um, that I'm about to deliver to a client, and I'm just, I actually um, just going to select just these few of these images just so I can show you how to do um, the exporting. So once you've highlighted the images you want to export, um, I always just right click and it pulls up this menu, and export is right down here towards the bottom. Um, go to export and then slide over to export and click, and you'll have a pop up that comes up. And um, you can, just starting at the top, you can choose to export right to your hard drive. If you click, you can export for email um, or, or straight to a CD or DVD. Um, I always ex export to folders on my hard drive, and then if I want to um, send them to email or uh, CD or flash drive, I just do that via the folder on my computer. Um, so I just always keep the hard drive checked. Um, and export to specific folder. Uh, I always name a folder after my clients and so I always make sure it's I've chosen the right one. Um, you can easily change that by just going to choose and choosing um, that way. Um, I'm just going to choose a desktop real quick just because I've already exported these and I don't want to have to have them rewrite. So um, this I like this right here, existing files, like if it said, like if I would have exported these um, into a folder that already contained them, it would pop up a, a new window that says, hey, this file already exists. Do you want to um, override it, rename it, give it unique names, and then you can just choose. Um, so I like to always leave that open. So um, as far as file naming in this section right here, um, you can rename, you can, uh, check it or uncheck it. If you keep it unchecked, it's just going to be what your file is. If you want to rename it, you can come and do like custom name, like whatever. I, I always title mine either full full resolution or web size. Sometimes I put like Mr. and Mrs. Smith if it's a wedding or um, you know the Lang family photos uh, one and sequence. That's what I like to do. It's like so it would be like a full resolution one, two, and three, it, it would keep counting. So that's just all personal. It's not really, um, whoops. So, and video, I don't ever, you can see that there's something there, but I just keep that closed. Okay, so we get down to file settings. You always, 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 no matter what you're doing, want it to be on JPEG. There's other stuff, but I just leave mine on JPEG. I always make sure that the quality is 100% and the color space is sRGB and I never check this limit file size. So scrolling on down, so if we are exporting to say Facebook, this is where you will want to click resize to fit right here and then you would want it in this drop down menu to be the long edge. And um, don't I don't do the don't enlarge and then you want it to be 2048 pixels. And you want it to be the pixels and not the inches or centimeters. And then your resolution is 72, and then make sure this says pixels per inch. And this is um, where you can also change, like I know here I've got a, a page of my dashboard, like this is for my website if I was going to come on and do a new blog post, like over here on this it says recommended image size, you know, 1440 pixels per inch and, or 72, or uh, excuse me, 720. Um, this is where you could come into Lightroom and change and input your specific um, dimensions for your website. So for Facebook, it is 2048. If you have some other, um, like for your blog, it's you know a different dimension, or if you're a member of the Pretty Preset Forum, um, the number you could put here is 700, just so it would resize uh, really well for the 
for the um, forum. So if you move on down to sharpening, if I always like to sharpen for screen, you can see there's different options um, to do that and low standard or high. I always keep mine at screen and low as recommended by the um, pretty, piece, uh, pretty preset uh, cheat sheet. And if you want a watermark, there is an option to put in, put in a watermark here. Um, and then you just click on export and then a little it'll come on right there and you just watch the little taskbar and it goes across. So um, let me go ahead and we will play with that again. I'm just going to go through the same steps pretty much and show you what changes to do for um, exporting for like full res file size that you want to provide for your clients. So you would go through the same thing. Uh, if you wanted to rename, that's great. Uh, here we go. So moving on, right here, um, whenever you are exporting, like you want to deliver these images uh, to your client or you want to print some of your personal images, you always want the biggest file size you can. So never ever check this resize to fit. Leave it blank because you don't want to resize it. You want it to stay big. If you want to sharpen, you can come and choose like a matte paper or if you do glossy, um, the Pretty Presets recommend to do matte paper and you can um, change the amount. I always keep mine at low and that is it. You know, you just want to make sure that you um, have it a JPEG, sRGB. This file setting really never should change, so you could probably even just close that one out by touching this little arrow because you always want JPEG, you always want sRGB, always at 100% and never check this. So um, that is pretty much it on how to export. I know that was really quick and I talked really quickly, so hopefully um, if, I, if you missed something, you can push rewind and see it again. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a good night.